In this video, we're going to go over the basics that you need to absolutely learn if you want to start playing uh, Blue and CD Battles, especially in free power-ups. I'm going to teach you all of my tower spots, where do I place Dartling, Boomer, Cobra, Farms, Farmers, everything. You're going to be able to learn all of that and copy all my spots, which uh, I mean, honestly, I think are at least are what people think to be the meta right now, mostly. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. We're going to start with Offside and then go to the right from there uh, in the map list, of course. Uh, so yeah, let's start with Offside. Uh, and here, uh, the spots that I like to use, Dartling goes here. If you want to place multiple ones, you usually place them here, right? Something like that. Farms, usually placed in the top corner, maybe here. I mean, it doesn't even really matter where you place them. And then the farmers here and here, whatever covers um, the farm spots that you need, right? So yeah, that's usually how I do it. Uh, for Dartlings, farms, farmers, etc. Uh, usually the main lineup of farms goes over here though, so I'm gonna leave those be. And uh, for boomers, well it depends. When you're playing, uh, when you're playing aggro, uh, aggro mirror, like when your opponent also has Dartling Farm Boomer, you want two boomers placed here and this one upgraded. Cause, uh, yeah, of course this one on the left hand, this one on the right hand. Uh, the reason for that is if, if they quick shot Team Taurus on you, you're gonna have to buy this uh, as, a, as a turbo. Then use the turbo once they quick shot some balloons in, uh, once they send them, right? And uh, then once they team tower stun you, you're gonna want to sell it, rebuy it, and use the turbo at the end of the track, and that's gonna defend. Otherwise, you can't defend if you just use this spot, which I will use in any other scenario. Uh, any other scenario, this is the general boomer spot. Uh, of course, switch the hand on this side. This is all for right side, but on the left side, just remember to mirror that. So in this case, on the left side, you would use this hand, right? Uh, but yeah, that's usually what I use uh, as a general spot. It's very, very good. As for Cobras, you usually just place them over here like that on strong. And once you fill that side, you can just start placing them here pretty much. Uh, something like that, right? Then you can just place them here. Uh, of course, you want all your Cobras to strong always, like 24-7. Just target them all to strong and they're going to be much more efficient. Uh, so yeah, that's the spots that I use. Uh, obviously, uh, the meta boat spot on this map is right in the middle if you want to use that. But I usually prefer to go darling on this map. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next map. So on Snowy Castle, you can actually use both uh, Boat Boomer and Darling Boomer uh, if you wish to do that. So for Boat, I usually place my first Boat here. Unless it's Agromel, then here is the best spot. Um, pretty obvious stuff, right? And you can just target this to close and it's gonna be all good. Uh, this of course goes on last, uh, this boat spot. And then as for a second boat spot, always I use this one, like 24 seven, and on that's on close as well, uh, mostly, right? So uh, yeah, that's what I use for boats. For farms, you only have three spots. Uh, they're over here, they're all very easy to fit, don't worry about that. This one used to be very hard to fit before, but now it's not the case anymore. And for dotlings, I usually place my first one right here and then the other ones to not obstruct the farm go over there. Uh, as for the boomerang, that's really obvious. You only need one spot ever and it's this one. Uh, as for cobras, you usually place them over here, uh, always on strong of course, and then you can place some over here after that. Um, pretty much just near the start of the track in this case, right? Uh, you can even place some like here if you want. I don't know. And some in the top corner here. You can usually fit four here, I just fit them poorly. You can even place one over there if you want as well, because that's not going to fit the darling, etc. Uh, so yeah, that's usually what I use. Uh, let's move on to the next map. So for interchange, it's really obvious. Uh, where the spots are for the farms, you can just place them right around here, uh, in this corner. Then the farmer, you place it here. Oh yeah, I didn't specify um, for farmers on Snowy Castle, but just place them where they can handle two farms, right? So yeah, this farmer spot, very good one. You can definitely use this. Uh, as for dotlings, just place them over here. Pretty much, that's the plan. Uh, you can even place one here if you want later, like something like this, right? 
Uh, for boomerangs, very obvious stuff. You just want one here. It's going to be all purpose. Uh, you don't need more than that. You can also place it here as well if you want. I actually kind of prefer this spot, come to think of it. Uh, it's usually the one I use. I just didn't think of like maybe for quick shots and tusks, and this one's better. I don't know. It really doesn't matter all that much, but I do tend to use this one a little more. Uh, you're going to be able to use these two boomerang spots, though. They're just fine. Uh, as for cobras, uh, you can just place them over here. Uh, pretty obvious. Then you place them over here uh, as well if you want. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, let's move on to the next map. So for concrete alley, don't run boat. It's bad. <laughs> just run dotling and place it here. Uh, place all of your dotlings here. They're going to be very good over here. Uh, you can even actually, if you fit them well enough, you can place them like, oh wait, that's only a left side thing? Say, no, 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 you can actually like pretty much stack them on top of each other like this. I, I thought it was only a left side thing for a second. Uh, but yeah, if you like glue them through the track well enough, you can pretty much stack them together like so. And that's also a way to fit more dotlings in this area. Uh, for farms, you can place them all over here. Place your farmer down, you can even place free farms over here if you fit them well enough. Like, uh, like this, you can place one here. Uh, yeah, you got a lot of spots in this map. Uh, for cobras though, since you're not going to be running farm with cobra, uh, just place them something like over here. Awesome, good spots to begin with. You can place some over here if you want as well, just a few. You can place most, you're gonna probably place most over here if I had to guess, so. So yeah, that's where you're gonna place most of your Cobras. Uh, as for Boomerang, just place it over here. If you need one for Agromare, place it like, I don't know, over here maybe. Oh yeah, actually you should probably want to place it over here. Because the thing with this spot, right? The thing with this Boomerang spot, let me show you. I'm gonna sell all these Cobras real quick. Uh, the thing with this Boomerang spot, is that if you send enough, see, it gonna, it's gonna target down here if you fit it well enough, like if you glue it enough to the track. Uh, if you just like really glue it, then it's gonna hit the bottom, so that's the spot that I would use usually. Uh, you can use this one though against Quickshot Team Tower Stun if you really want to, and yeah, only ever use it here if you're against Quickshot Team Tower Stun like Agra. otherwise always use this one, it's uh, by far the best. Uh, because yeah, it can even target uh, over here as well, uh, if you fit it well enough, right, as you can see. Uh, so yeah, that's it for for Concrete Alley. So for Swan Lake and Free Power Ups, both Boat and Dotling are playable, but they're kind of hard to figure out. So uh, yeah, the, the spots in this map are overall very awkward, and no one actually like knows them well enough, I've noticed. So uh, the general, uh, the general boomerang spot that I use, this is the easiest one to remember. It's uh, this one. In this case, you probably want it. Yeah, you want it. You want left-handed. Uh, on right side, just keep it right-handed. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the best spot. Uh, general multi-purpose boomerang that you can run. Uh, as for against quick shot team tower stun, I just use one here and one here, pretty much. Actually, can you? Mm, no, you cannot fit one here. I'm, I'm just trying to think of spots as we go, but yeah, just probably use this and this. That's why that's why I always run usually in arenas. Uh, for farms, you can I think if you fit them well enough, yeah, you can fit four over here pretty easily. There you go, and then you can even go for a fifth one, sixth one, and if you want, and then over here you can just place a farmer here, right? Uh, so yeah, that's the farm spots that I usually use. You can also fit some at the bottom if you want. Uh, there's a lot of space on this map. Uh, as for dotlings, which I usually actually run this map, I'm running aggressive strategies. I just place them all over here. Um, with yeah, you want to keep the boomerang over here, like you want to you want an open space for it. So yeah, I just place the dotlings like that, pretty much. And uh, yeah, when it comes to bow, which is the harder thing to figure out, uh, the first spot is here always on close. And then the second spot, I tend to use this one like this. So it also targets very slightly at the bottom, uh, like over here. 
Uh, and then you also can set this one to close. Wait, let me fit this better. Uh, this is more like it. All right. This is more like it on close. Uh, both on close hallways are very good. Uh, you can even set this one to first if you want. It really doesn't matter that much. I do like close a little more though. Uh, so yeah, that's that. As for Cobras, you got a bunch of space for all of them. You can you even have some hidden spots like here and here. They're both pretty good because they target the start of the scent path and the start of the AI path. You can even fit a second one here if you want. Then you have uh, these ones just like generally at the start of the track. Uh, you can even use these ones if you want. You also have this. Um, and yeah, that's the general vibe for Cobra on this map. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Okay, as for Inkblot, you never want to run boat on this map. Like, I know that this part on last is good. Like, it's really good. It can even pretty much solo space pings. Like, as you can see, right? Pretty much solos them. But I don't like it for the simple reason that it's so awkward to play in free power-ups. Like, it, it's just generally awkward to play in boost only to begin with, but in free power-ups, just go darling in spots like this. Trust me, it's way more comfortable. As for boomerangs, uh, pretty simple. One here and one here. Uh, always. This is a hidden spot, but it's really good. Uh, you want it left-handed in this case. Um, but yeah, you uh, always want them left-handed uh, on, on right side and always right-handed on right side. Uh, sorry. Left-handed on right side, right-handed on left side. That's what it is. So uh, yeah, that's what I generally tend to use. Um, as for cobras, you can just place them all at the top of the map if you want to play. If you want to play cobra here, uh, you have these spots. Uh, you have these ones even if you want. You have even these. You can use them here if you want. It really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, and then you just have the rest of the top of the map that you can use for your cobras. Uh, as for your farmer, just place it here, place your farms over here uh, in its range, and there you go, pretty much right. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this map. So for Blue Nair, yes, one of the two free power-ups boss maps, uh, you usually run boat on this map, you run it here, here on close. Uh, this one has a grape shot, solos, pings. Um, and then as, as a grape shot, it even does very, very good against blacks. So uh, it's one of the most OP boat spots in the game for sure. It's super strong. Um, so you have this spot for bow, but if you want to run Dartling for more anti star, then you just place it over here and you can target it up and then it's going to max anti star every single round guaranteed. It's literally forced. Uh, so you have that and then if you want to place more Dartlings, you place them here. Uh, second boat spot though, it's always here. You always want to run this spot as a second boat spot. And then uh, you can just fit more uh, around here, right? It's pretty much the vibe. As for Cobras, uh, you can place them. I'm oh, sorry, I'm going to go over Boomer first. Boomer, you just place it over here. And then you can place the second one at the top if you need it. Um, like this, right? So uh, yeah, that's the boomer spot that I use. This is the first boomer spot, the usual one uh, that I use. And then for cobras, you can place them over here, um, and then you can go down from then on, right? Just very simple stuff. Really, not much to to worry about here. And if you want more spots, you can even place some around here if you want. You can place some here. Uh, but yeah, for farms, just place them here uh, along this line with your farmer um, ready to collect them all so there you go uh, let's move on to the next map so here's dread balloon on dread balloon uh, you just run dartling very simple stuff place it over there really really simple to keep in mind and then for farms you can place your farmer over here place your farms here uh, you can even fit a if you really fit them like properly and also i did not fit my farmer properly or my farms properly but if you do you can pretty easily just place one here uh that's gonna collect them all uh, one sec let me make sure that i fit this right um we also need to replace this farm 
there you go and if i really place them at the top you're gonna see my farmer has no problem fitting and there you go it collects all all six um very simply so uh, if you also want a more easy to fit spot than that you can just use this farmer spot instead and place three farmers here that's the max that you can fit and then you can fit three uh, i think in its range three others yep there you go so it also covers six farms uh so yeah that's farm on that's farms on this map as for cobras just place them along here it's so simple like just place them along here you have an a multitude of spots to use for your cobras on this map like you can just literally fit them all here it's amazing and then for boomer you have this spot and then this spot uh this is the first one so yeah it's really simple uh let's move on to the next one hot tub is also one of those simple maps dotlings go over here this line is amazing so yeah you can just place your dotlings over here there you go uh first boomer spot can go here or here depends if you're facing aggro or not this is the spot against aggro this is the spot against any other strat and uh yeah how this looks like against aggro is you just have one here and have one here so it targets at the top uh right there and then um yeah you can buy and sell uh, you know how that works already so uh, as for the farms farmer goes over here and farms you can fit them all along here very simple stuff so that's that uh, as for cobras if you're running them you can also fit them here same spots as the farms kind of uh, all on strong as usual that doesn't change and then if you need more spots just place them over there pretty much uh, that should already fit enough to begin with so yeah, I won't need to showcase more than this uh, Don't run boat on this map by the way. I know you have some water, but don't run it <laughs> But yeah, next map Zen garden don't go boat on Zen garden. Just place dotling here second dotling here other dotlings go over here very simple stuff cool farms Honestly place them wherever you want. I like to do it here here and here with a farmer here and then you can also place farms here and here in the farmers range if you really want to uh but yeah you have that and then um for the boomer spot over here works just fine for um against aggro actually if you think they're running aggro you can place boomer here and another one here just in case of like team tower stun uh but that's really it uh, other than that, just other than that, just use this spot, and then you have cobras here, pretty much. Like that's where they fit. Uh, you can even fit some over here if you want, uh, like at the top, and then you have here as well. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for Zen Garden. Super Monkey Lane. Once again, don't run boat on Super Monkey Lane. Dotlings all go down over here. Uh, this is way more than you will ever need on this map. You even have here if you want to. The first spot is always here though. And then um, you have Boomer here. And then here against Aggro. Here against Aggro as well. This is your typical Boomer spot though. Then Farms. You can even place one in the water here. That's a little trick. And you can fit three or four here depending on how well you place them. Here I cannot place the four form and I can probably fit the heli yeah because it's really close but you can fit four farms and you have a couple more over here and you even have one here if you want and a couple here um so yeah that's about it you have cobras just place them along here uh that's really it really nothing much more to it than that uh, so yeah, let's move on to the next map. So for water resorts, you can run either boat or dartling. Both of them are viable. With boat, you just place your first one here, then your next one here, and you just fill the rest of the water. There's not a lot of spots, and they're all like good to a degree. Uh, just the ones in the back, like don't try not to place them too far in the back. That's kind of cringe and doesn't work all all our well. Uh, as for the boomer, you have this general boomer spot. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're against aggro or not, although against aggro, I like going for something like this and this, pretty much. 
uh, that's that's an option. This being your first boomer spot, like like so, right? Uh, so that's what I like doing. But just even with just this boomer spot, you're gonna be okay. Uh, it can stay. Uh, it can stay right handed. There's no problem with that. As for farms, just there you go. Really simple. Like you can place two over here and two more. There you go. That's more than you will ever need. Then you can just fit a BIA over here or something if you really want more farms. Uh, but yeah, that's all you should need. As for Dartling, you have a lot of spots, honestly. Uh, there's this one if you want to anti stall, like just pure anti stall, don't care about anything else. There's this one as well, which anti stalls very well, but just needs a bit of like targeting uh, actively and also it saves more lives. And then you have this one, which can anti stall if your opponent isn't ecoing and it saves the most lives but if your opponent is sending like even just space eco you're gonna stall around so this is only a spot that you would ever consider for like agrimer right so like general multi-purpose spot just use this one and then you can fit some more along here uh, if you really need it uh, against aggro like against aggro you would, you would fit some more here otherwise if you want to defend a bfb for example you just start placing dotlings here instead uh, that's for sure the better option. And then this one is just one first startling spot that you use for pure anti-star and not much else. It doesn't save a lot of lives. So you have that. And then for Cobras, just place them along this box here and then more over here if you want as well, right? So yeah, that's about it. As for Riverside, Boat Spot is known by everyone, uh, but there's a little trick to it. Uh, you, you never run Dotling on this map, by the way. You always run Boat. So uh, there's a little trick to this spot. You see how I place it? Uh, this is a trick so that it targets the top and the bottom uh, if you place it properly. It can target the top and the bottom over here. But then if you set your bow to last, there's a good chance that it's gonna target over here unless you make it so that there's more range at the top than at the bottom. And that can help you anti-stall actually. So that's a little neat trick. Uh, of course, you usually just set this boat to close, but if you want to end stall, loss is an option. And then uh, for a second boat spot, just use this one. Uh, same principles to so target the top and the bottom. Here, the pixel perfect placement doesn't matter at all, but you can see there are like a few pixels away from each other. This one's slightly more at the top. You can notice more at the bottom, but yeah. Uh, as for farms, place your farmer here. Farms go along here. You got a bunch of spots. Like you actually got so many, it's crazy. And then uh, for boomer spots, general multi-purpose spot is this one. And honestly, it's really good that way. You even have this one as well if you want. That's also a pretty good boomer spot uh, for sure. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this one. As for cobras, that's also super simple. You can just place them over here and then down at the bottom. Uh, of course, you can fit them better than what I'm doing right now. But yeah, this is just an example case. So uh, yeah. When it comes to Mountain Pass, there's a little salty in the Dotling spots. This one actually handles things better, like Space Balloons, etc. than this one would. Although this is your typical go-to second Dotling spot, you can fit one over here if you fit it properly. And then you have more spots over here if you really need them. Just, just a couple more. Four is all you should need. And then as for boomer spots, really easy. You have one over here and one over here just in case uh, to clutch up, right? And then uh, as for farms, you only have a couple possible. You have these two. And then for cobras, just along here, pretty much. Um, that's really all you need to remember. Just along here, and that's very good. Uh, of course, you can fit them inside the farm spots because you won't be playing so simultaneously farm and cobra. So uh, yeah, that's about it. Industrial zone is pretty easy to figure out for dotlings. You just have them all over here, down at the bottom. They're very, very good this way. And that there's way more spots than you will ever need. Uh, as for boomer, I like going for mine over here. Uh, this is a very good spot when it comes to uh, just general multi-purpose. And honestly, that's really all you need to use uh, for this map. You also have this option if you want to have more map coverage. But I don't exactly like it because uh, it often like just misses the boomerangs altogether co in comparison to this one, which is way closer to the track overall. So that's why I prefer it. 
Uh, then you also have for farms really obvious stuff. Just gonna leave my primer here. Um, just really obvious stuff. Uh, this this one can stay uh, left-handed, and then you can micro to right-handed if you want to clutch up some lives uh, near the end of the map. But anyway, um, you have uh, farms over here. Just really simple. There's way more than you will ever need. Oops, that's a heli. Uh, but yeah, that's way more than you will ever need. You even have another one here. Like there's so many farms. And uh, then you have cobras just over here, um, pretty simple. Also, a little, little neat trick, you can actually fit cobras down here inside the, the track, kind of. But it's not really the track because the balloons never go there. That's why you can fit towers inside of it. Uh, but yeah, that's way more cobras than you will ever need. So yeah, that's about it. So when it comes to Frozen River, both Boat and Dotling are options, but if you're running aggressive strategies, um, usually Dotling is always the preferred option because Boat's optimal spot is over here on last and that doesn't anti-stall in the slightest. So Boat is an option, I guess, if you want to, but Dotling is much often preferred. You do have these two options for Boats though, if you want to use them. Uh, as for Dotlings, just fit your Dotlings right down at the bottom over here. This does take up a farm spot, but you don't need it. You don't need more than like all of these um, that you're gonna get by just placing your farmer right over here. Then you can even fit an extra farm here. Boomer spot is very obvious. It's over here. Uh, but against aggro, I actually like to go for this one. And then this one down, down at the bottom pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. Uh, and as for Cobras, they're very obvious. You can place them up here at the top. Uh, and that's pretty much all you need. You can fit more over here if you need them. And then you have more over here even as well. Uh, also, if you want to go for Glaive Lords uh, for Boomers, this map is kind of specific about them. You have a couple options. You have these three options, right? Uh, this one is very, very strong. Then you have this one and this one as well. Uh, all three of these are very, very good options with, I would say, sorry, this one is on the wrong hand, with this one being probably the best that you can run. This is a very strong glaive load spot and one of the strongest in the entire game. That's why I just wanted to point it out. But then you have these options as backups as well, which are very good. So yeah, that's about it. Shallow River is generally an, generally an awkward map with poor spots for pretty much every tower. So uh, yeah, it is a very like choker land strategy and often aggro just um, becomes super strong on it because of that. So you do have uh, a spot for a boat that you can fit over here that decently anti-stalls and boat is very viable on this map um, because of it. But of course the spot to save the most lives is, uh, is this one, um, of course set to close. It's very good that way. Uh, this one also set to close is very good that way. Uh, then for more boat spot is very obvious because the map is pretty small. So um, yeah, that's pretty much about it for boat. For dotlings, you can just fit them all down here and they'll be very, very good. And that's more spots than you'll ever need. Um, and for cobras, just place them along down this line. Super simple, really super simple. Uh, just all the way across this line, very, very good. As for farmers and farms, there you go. You even have this one if you want as, as a spot. That, that's the that's thing, I think. Is it? You were able to fit a farm here before. Yeah, you can. It's just tedious to fit, but it's possible. There you go. All right. So yeah, that, that's a thing as well. If you really want to, that fits. Six farms still are pretty, pretty good. Uh, then for Boomer, one spot over here, one spot over here. And uh, yeah, you can use these two against aggro, but against just passive, you can simply use this one. Uh, or like general multipurpose spot, this one by itself is very, very good. But then uh, the spots against aggro are the exact same. Just the, the, the spot, the second spot against aggro is the exact same. It's still this one. Just that you use this one first if you want to micro your boomerangs. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Moon landing is overall a very long late game map, but it's still possible to have perfect end stall on this map just by placing all your dotlings over here. And they're actually the best spots against BFBs too, so it really helps. You have like literally six spots over here, and that's more than you'll ever need. 
Uh, as for Boomer, general spot used for everything is this one. You don't need more than this Boomer spot. For Cobras, uh, I'm going to get to them later, but for farms, um, you have this, uh, this farmer's pot along with these farms. You can fit so, so many, it's crazy. You should be able to fit a third farmer here. Yep, there you go. And you shouldn't even be able to fit a farmer here if you like really pixel perfect place them. So there's way, way more spots than you'll ever need. For Cobras, just as well, this spend is very, very good. Uh, then you can even fit them down here at the bottom if you want to. You have a couple spots here, even a couple spots here if you really want them. And then you have more, more inside that circle uh, if you want. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Shapes has many options when it comes to dotling spots, but boomers and cobras are very easy to figure out. So dotling spots, you have these three. Um, they all serve different, uh, different purposes. So this one uh, right here is just pure anti star and deals with spaced balloons the best, but it deals with grid balloons the worst. This one overall saves the most lives, but the anti stalls the least efficiently and this one is kind of a mix of both pretty much uh, so yeah that's all your that's all your options the boomer though is very very obvious to fit i would say if you're running against aggro you can probably use these two if you want so it's less awkward uh but yeah this spot by itself should still be pretty fine honestly um you do however have these options if you really want them which uh i i use personally because uh it's more comfortable for me to know that I'm definitely going to deal with the Quickshot ETS, for example. But yeah, um, with Cobra, very simple stuff. Uh, this one is one of the best Cobra spots in the entire game, by the way. Uh, but yeah, you can just fit them all over here. And uh, they're very good this way. That's Honestly, Shapes are some of the best Cobra spots in the entire game, so you don't gotta worry about that too much. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Wait, I don't think I mentioned farms, my bad. Um, you can actually just fit, place your farm over here, farms over here. Um, and there you go, you have four spots here, then another one, even another one here if you want. And then even two at the bottom here if you really want them in the center of those cobras. Uh, so yeah, you have many options, but yeah, that's about it now. Pinball Wizard is a map that I've seen disputed about for the spots for a very long time now, but the meta dotling spots are very simple. It's just these two. You have these two and that's all you need. And then you have even more over here if you really want them. Uh, you can even fit the farm down here at the bottom if you remove the startling. There you go, it's an extra farm here at the bottom. And you can just fit some more dotlings over here if you want them. Uh, you have a lot of farms though uh, that you can fit over here. Uh, and then you can just place your farmer down there to collect them all. Uh, as for the boomers, against Sagramer, I like going for this one plus this one. And for general multi-purpose, this even works against uh, Agramer. You just run this. Uh, Cobras are also very simple. It's the same principle as Shadow River, where you just fit them all on the same line. And there you go. That's about it. You can even you can even fit one down here if you want. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. So for treasure hunt, you shouldn't by any means run farms. I you always pick Cobra here, but you have these two farm spots if you really want to use farms here, although it's the max spots you can fill in this entire map. For farmers, you're gonna need two separate ones. Um, over here, over here, pretty much is what you can do. Uh, so yeah, that's it for farms, although I don't recommend you play them. Uh, also, don't play Dotling here, just strictly play Boat. Use this one if you want anti stall, but use this one if you want to save lives. Then the secondary spots will all be down over here, um, pretty much, right? You also can fit some down here, but it's kind of tough. Anyway, uh, the general multi-purpose boomer spot here, if you're facing quick shot team towers done somehow on this map, but you, which you shouldn't, but you can still place a boomer here. And um, yeah, this is literally all you need. When it comes to Cobras, you can, uh, they're actually kind of precise to fit, but you can fit a total of four down here if you really try. Although three is the most common thing that you're gonna do. Uh, yeah, I cannot fit the fourth one, but trust me, it's possible. Then you have a couple more over here if you want to. I think even a third one is possible, but it's just precise to fit. Then you have more down here. 
um, you should be able to fit five here, but once again, the cover spots in this map are rather precise, so I'm not going to take the time to uh, to fit them right, uh, but yeah, this is also very easy to fit five Cobras in, um, just like that, that's five, this is one of the most straightforward ones, straightforward ones to max, but uh, yeah, that's about it for this map. For Glacier Melt, please do me a favor and don't run bell on this map. First Dotling goes over here always, then you have a few more Dotlings down there if you need them. And then uh, you have farms, a lot of them, like there's so much space for farms. So you can just fit them all over here in a nice neat little circle, there's infinite farms for you to place on this map. For Boomers, first one goes here, second one goes here. And uh, this is the general multi-purpose spot as well, it doubles as that. Um, actually, no, the second one goes more over here, kind of, and uh, and left-handed. This one is right-handed. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for Cobras. If you're going to play Cobra on this map, just fit them all down here. They're perfect here. And yeah, that's about it for this map. As for Shipwreck, boat always. Two boats over here. More, more here if you need them. Boomer, general multipurpose, and also very good against Agromare. This one, two farms max if you want to play them, which I don't recommend, but you still have those options. And then for Cobras, just take up your farm spots pretty much. You can uh, fit two here and one here if you really want to. But then you have just these ones, right? Really makes a lot of sense. And then you have just the rest of the map. It doesn't really matter where you place them, kind of. You can also fit three Cobras over here if you uh, kind of try. There you go. Uh, this is one max, though. This is one max as well. This is two max. And then the rest is just optimization, right? But yeah, that's about it. As for Farmyard, I know this is another pretty disputed one. Uh, because people haven't figured out them at the Dotling spot yet, it's over here. And then you place some more along this line going up to the top uh then the general multi-purpose boomer spot here you don't even need to replace this one in case of aggro you have farms all the way over here uh you have six total if you really put your mind to it but these three here are kind of hard to stack up you need to be semi-precise about it uh, as for a farmer spot just use this one i know it doesn't cover this last farm but that's okay, you can even fit it over here if you want to. That's gonna cover this last farm over here. And then if you if you manage to fit the sixth farm up at the top, you can just place the farmer down here or something because this one won't cover for it. Uh, but this farmer will cover for this farm here. Uh, then you have cobras, you can just place them all down along here. Uh, they're gonna be perfect over here. Uh, you can also fit three here if you do it right like so and then one here you can also place it here but it's just kind of hard to find like you can see it's barely there right then you have a few more over here if you want them and there you go that's about it uh, don't run boat on this map by the way <laughs> just just a heads up we all hate marsh but if you want boat over here boat over here and boat over here are all good options Dotlings over here if you really want to play it, but I think boat is just the safest play you can do on this map uh, You should be able to fit one up at the top here. It's just kind of precise to find um, Come on now. Yeah, it's very precise to find as you can see Jesus, but yeah, you saw the spot it flashed black for a second That means that you can place it. You should also be able to fit free here, which I didn't do but yeah, the spots are kind of precise here. Yeah, let me do this right for you guys. One second. This is going to take a while, but we move. Um, okay, I actually cannot fit this for the one for the life of me. There we go. That's free. And then you can fit one more over here if you really put your mind to it. As I've showcased before, uh, trust me, the spot is still there. It's just, my goodness, it's impossible to find. J just count the free that exist over here and that's about it. Cobras all go over here, and so will your farms actually, because uh, instead of those Cobras, you can just place one farm here, Farmer can simply go, um, sorry, Farmer can simply go over here if you place it right, 
like very much at the bottom to the most to the bottom that you can and you place one foam over here one foam over here and one last one over here and there you go uh, you even have more farming options here here and here and then all of your cobras just can cover all this surface and this one actually i didn't even mention the boomer spots my bad the towers are cleared but yeah the boomer spot is kind of precise it's over here and if you fit it just right you're gonna see that it's able to target the balloons that come over here it's barely doable but it's doable and if you need a second broom spot just place one down here and it's gonna be perfect that way but if you don't want to go through the trouble of fitting that precise broom spot just place it here it's it's gonna start around heavily but it's definitely usable um if you want that so yeah that's also an option this is a good general multi-purpose part you don't need to replace it in case of aggro etc etc so yeah that's about it in ruins my god is it cringe but you have one dot link spot over here which is precise this is precise for the record because what you can do if you fit it precisely like so is that you can fit a farm right above it yeah that's right and you have three more up at the top here that are very easy to fit uh, on their end of things. If you really can't be bothered, you can use this spot for a darling, but it's bad. Whatever. Uh, you have secondary... Sorry, my bad. Low battery. But and that's not yours, by the way. But uh, you have these darlings here uh, that you can fit for secondary darlings. I know it's awkward, but it actually works pretty well. Uh, believe me or not, don't run boat on this map. Please do not. And um, for boomers, very simple. You have one over here and then one over here if you really need it. But uh, most people should not be needing this one because everyone runs past it on this map, sadly. And then you also have bonus boomer spot. This one for general multi-purpose because the thing with it is if you fit it just right, like I just did, this is pretty particular, I know. And then for example, if I send yellows, See, it targets down at the bottom. Uh, it just barely does. Like you can see, it's pretty much pixel perfect. It pretty much pixel perfect targets, but it does. So that's an option. Uh, that's kind of a secret on this map that I found myself. But yeah, that's about it. Oh yeah, and for in ruins cobras, I forgot to mention them. Just make them all go over here. It's so simple. But yeah, just make them all go over here. And that's all you need to do. So yeah, that's about it for this map now. Dungeon is super cringe, but if you want to play Dotling, um, you have it here. There you go. So many Dotlings to fit here. Awesome. Then you have Boomer. Boomer just goes over here. Um, you don't need more than this one. It's very good that way. Farms all go over here. You have so many spots. And there goes your Farmer. And then uh, you have... Cobras that can all just go over here, honestly. Uh, really don't need to do much else than that. Uh, oops, that's a farmer, but yeah, really don't need to overthink it too much. You also have all the spots over here if you need them. So yeah, that's always an option. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Celtic Knot! Just use Dotling here. It's gonna be amazing to save some lives. You have a lot of options to place more Dotlings here if you want them. Oh, but over here is also a farm spot. So if you really want to conserve that, since you have a couple of farm spots here, you can just place your next dotlings down here instead. Uh, and then for Boomer, use this one, general multipurpose. This one, if you need it against Agome. And that's really it. You have so many farm spots on this map, more than you would think. You can fit one there. Uh, even one there. You can also fit a heli here, even if it's kind of secret. You cannot fit a farm though. And then you have farmers. There you go. Uh, you cannot cover more than two farms with a single farmer on this map, unfortunately. And then for cobras, fit them honestly wherever. They are literally all good spots. None of them are bad spots by any means. You can fit five in each of these, by the way. Uh, but yeah, no cobra spots are like actually bad on this map. Just roll with like any of these. 
I guess these ones are bad, but who would fit Cobra's ear, right? Anyway, that's about it. Bottomless Pit is so annoying, but you have votes here and here, all what I tend to use the most. Uh, and then you have Boomer. If you're against aggro, go here and here. If you're, if you just want general multipurpose, simply go here uh, by itself. That's more than fine. For dotlings, fit them down here. They are very good this way. For cobras, fit them all here or fit them all here. Really doesn't matter what you pick. They're both very good this way. I would say probably um, here are kind of stronger because they help install. And then you can just fill this spot once you're done filling this one. For farms, super simple. Farmer goes over here. There you go. And then you have so many farms that you can fit if you want them. And there you go. See how many spots this farmer covers? That's actually insane. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Off beast, don't use boat on it. But dot, first dotling goes here, it's kind of precise, but it's a spot. And then you have a couple more that you can fit down here as well. There you go, there should even be a third one if you really try to get it right, but I didn't in this case. Let me try to absolutely get it right. There we go. And then you even have more here, I guess, if you want them. I don't know. It's weird though. Oh, and you cannot fit one down here, sadly. I know it's not an option. But yeah, for boomers, here and here, you're always going to face Agromer, so always prepare these two. Uh, they'll be very good. Cobras can all go over here. They're very good this way. Um, and you can even fit some over here if you really want them, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe even some here. These are all options, uh, of course. For farmer, I like to go for it over down here precisely. And then you have one farm, we saw those cobras, two farms and three farms. There you go. If you really want more, just fit a couple over here. Oops, sorry, that's a mortar. Fit a couple more over here. And that's a farmer's part. Then you can also, if I sell these cobras, place another farm in. I think if you sell this boomer, wait, no, this is only a heli spot, my bad, I'm, I'm talking nonsense, this is only a heli spot, but, um, yeah, just place your farmer, like, I don't know, over here or something, anything works, as long as it covers these two farms, so, yeah, that's about it, do not run boat on sprinkler, dotlings go over here, there you go, farmer goes over here, and you have so many spots, there you go. Don't need to go into too much detail, whatever. Th this farmer is kind of blocking this farm spot. One second. Um, there you go, pretty much the same thing, right? And anyway, for Boomer against Agro, use these two. They're gonna be very good this way. My bad, Dotling kind of blocked this one. But yeah, they're very good this way. And then for general multi-purpose, this one. There you go. Uh, for Cobras, place them all over here and that's really all you need so yeah let's just move on to the next one cards is a rather obvious map all dot links will go over here farms will quite obviously go over here you have a lot of spots if you put your mind to it but yeah these alone are four then you have more here even more here if you need them and then you just place the farm or something like here, right? Uh, you even have three here. And then you have a couple more here. There's so, so many spots and cards, it's crazy. For Agrimer, I use this and this. General Multipurpose, I use this. Uh, for Cobras, all here are completely fine. And you can even fit some more here if you want them. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's about it. Racetrack. You have Boomer here. Uh, sorry, Dotling here. My bad. You can actually, if you fit them precisely enough. Uh, let me do this really right. There you go. 
you have two just like that and then you have few more here if you want them there you go and then for boomer here is completely fine because yeah here you're gonna have a farm obviously right so um, there you go they're rather precise to fit on racetrack sorry about that uh, but yeah you do have a farmer spot over here it's gonna be very good here you're gonna be able to fit all three here and that's gonna be great and then you have another spot here and another spot here if you want it and then apparently there's also a legendary spot that you can fit over here but don't count on it too much the cobras they're all amazing over here if you want them uh, they're also all amazing here if you want them so i mean really you have a lot of options on racetrack pretty much anywhere here and here is going to be fine uh, also don't run boat in this map but yeah that's about it for park boat is an option but i don't like it because it's only good against passive and not necessarily against aggro but you do have a lot of spots over here this one here um the middle one being your first one uh, for boomers here and here are completely okay this is your general multi-purpose boomer spot you have farms here farmer here farms here that's four there you go for cobras placing them all down here is completely fine and then you even have some over here if you want them uh, and even some instead of this farm and some up here and some up here there's so many uh, for dotlings though they should all go down over here they're amazing this way you even have some more here right uh, so yeah, that's about it for uh, for park. You have temple. Dotlings should all go over here. You get this absolutely gorgeous line that I just love against Agomer. Here, both spots are very good. They're gonna allow you to defend quick shot team Tarstone. These are the only spots that do. Then for general multi-purpose, you have this one, I guess. But I don't know. It's risky because Agro is so like strong in this map. Then you have farms, farmer can go over here, farms can all go down here, you can even fit one here, one here, then you have a whole lot of spots to go off of. Cobras can all go down over here, they're gonna be very very good. And um, yeah there you go, that's about it right, don't really need to go into too much more detail than this. Yin Yang is a pretty peculiar map. You have this boat spot that saves the most lives, but I tend to use this spot more because it's just more, sorry, this spot more because it's just anti-stars. I'm having trouble speaking right now. But yeah, as for boomers against Agomer, I've showcased this on video before, but you want them both here. Uh, I already detailed this on video, if, and even if it's kind of hard to explain, and then general multipurpose is this one, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for farms that's a mortar again for farms just place them over here farmer over here there you go it's gonna be amazing this way and then cobras simply all and i mean absolutely all go over here uh you have a lot of spots to go off of and then you even have these ones if you really want more than this uh, so yeah, that's about it. Hydro Dam! Boat spot goes over here, second one goes over here. Camo Leds, you place one over here, please. And then Destroyer, you can even sell these two boats to go for a Destroyer here if you want. Uh, Boomer always goes over here, exactly. Um, probably like left, sorry, left-handed is the best play, yep. And you can set it to right-handed if you wanna a clutch up some lives coming out at the end of the track so yeah that's why i use uh there's no secondary boom spawn this map it's very awkward to play on but you do have some farms and then the cobras are just gonna go against uh uh sorry they're just gonna go in the same spots as the farms uh, you can also fit three here if you're precise there you go you can fit one over here as well and then just farmer can go sorry my bad Farmer can go over here and over here. There you go. Also, don't run down in this map, obviously, but yeah.
Battle Sands. Dotling. 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 And Dotling. You don't want to run both in this map. You have these spots against Agomer. They're going to be very good. Make sure this one can target the bottom over here. And then you have farms. They can all go over here. Uh, you can fit free if you fit them even decently enough. There you go. Farmer can go over here. You can even fa fit a farm here if you're precise. And then you have more like so, right? General multipurpose boomer spot is over here, of course. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for this map. Uh, oh, yeah, cobras, my bad. Cobras go here, 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 here. Here, 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 there you go. I mean, that's really about it, right? Pretty simple stuff. So uh, yeah, let's move on to the next map. Yellow Brick Road, I love this map. Dotlings all go over here. Boomer goes over here, multi-purpose and good aggro spot. Ag second aggro spot is here, of course. And then you have farms. That can all go over here like so. That's five. And then if you really want to be precise with fitting your farms, you can fit one here and another one at the bottom, but that's super precise. You have this one, this one, and even this one. You cannot fit one here, but I think you can fit a heli if I'm not mistaken. Oh my bad, you actually cannot. But yeah, you even have one here if you really are interested. There you go. Even have some inside of the boomer spot here, kind of. Uh, if you really want those, and you can even still fit the boomer over here. So I guess that's something. And then uh, for cobras, they just take places of these two farms over here that I just sold, right? It's super straightforward. So um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Of course, the farmer for these farms would go down up at the top here. Uh, but yeah, that's about it now. For Swamp Boat is an option, but I don't like it all that much when you're running aggro. So, I mean, you can fit one here on last and then the rest can follow. But this is typically something you do when running passive because Boat is going to suck against Agrima, um pretty obviously. Um, and then you have Dotling here. Very simple stuff. I always say that, but it's super simple stuff. For Farmer can go over here and you can fit a lot of farms there you go for cobras they can all go over here in this circle just make them keep going along with it and they're gonna be perfect cobra spots I'm telling you so that's that um, for boomer fit it over here it's gonna be perfect over here and uh, you don't even need to do anything about this spot. It's really good this way. So yeah, that's about it. Snowfall is undoubtedly one of the most awkward quick shot team Taras Mirror maps. But yeah, Dotling goes over here. Secondary spots are all down here. Uh, Cobras, they all go down along the middle here. So it targets the two paths. Um, kind of. Yeah, like this, right? Keep, it keeps going for a bit, but stops around here. At this point, just make sure they can target this path instead. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Farmer and farms all go over here. Um, there you go. You have a lot more than this. I'm just butchering the placements, but I don't mind about it. Uh, general multi-purpose spots, it, this is this one. Make sure that the boomer can target more of this part of the track than this part of the track. So that on first, it actually targets over here. Uh, if you place it like so instead, it's going to target this on first if the eye gets passed, which is really bad. Uh, but yeah, you have this spot against, uh, against aggro. And then, uh, sorry, it's a glue. Then you have this one as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Don't run but on this map, please. For Water Hazard, it's a rather awkward map, but if you want to end stall, you have this boat. There you go. Uh, sorry, I fit it kind of badly. But yeah, just fit it like so, and then target it to last. And that's going to guarantee the end stall. This is a spot to save lives. You can go dawdling on this map if you really want to max end stall, in which case you fit it over here. 
but I don't know. It's just awkward. I prefer boat on this map. For farmer, here. Farms, here. Super simple stuff. There you go. And then if you want to uh, play Cobra, you can just fit them all up at the top here. They're going to be amazing over here. Like absolutely gorgeous spots. So uh, yeah, that's about it. You can also go along, down along this line if you really need the extra Cobras. But yeah, that's about it this time. Uh, of course, this spot is on close and this spot is on first. This is your second lowest spot. Oh yeah, now that's about it. In the pools, the most infamous map in the game. The spots here are super known and obvious, but just in case you don't run boat on this map, you run Dotling and fit them all down here. You run Boomer and then you place one here and one here. And there you go. You have farms down here and they're literally the same as farm spots. Uh, the copper spots, I mean, they are pretty much the same, except that you can fit some copers over here. <coughs> Sorry. And then um, more copers down here, if you're going to play it. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it for this map. Ice Flow is by far one of the most awkward maps in the game, but you have one boat spot over here on last if you want a max anti stall. That's going to be very good this way. Obviously, don't run Dotling on Ice Flow. Come on now. Uh, this is the first boat spot that I use. This is the second one. You even have an option for a boat spot down here in the middle. Uh, first boomer spot is here. Second boomer spot is... Honestly, I tend to use here the most. So, uh, yeah, that's that. You only have one farm spot, so don't run it. And then uh, Cobras, which I always run on this map can go here, 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 5% battery, my bad, <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're almost done, so don't worry about my battery. Uh, we have this, 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 uh, obviously it wasn't your 5% battery, my bad, but yeah, you have so many Cobras that you can fit on this map. If you just think about it for a little bit, just think that you can place them all in these little eyelids that you're not going to use for, boom for your boomerangs. And yeah, that's about it. The very final one, which is A game, has some very precise fun dotling spots to fit, which are, sorry, this one kind of interferes with the trash can a whole lot, but you have this one down over here. Okay, you know what? I give up on fitting it precisely, but yeah, you basically have it here. And if you fit it really precisely, you have these two spots um, that you can fit together. Uh, let me try to get this one sec. I'll just cut to and I actually managed to fit them. So that's one and is that two? No. So that's one, and that's still not two, Jesus. that's one and is that two yet no it's not oh my goodness so if you go about them in reverse order you have this one over here and then 
you have this one over here which as you can see is getting obstructed by the little trash can so yeah that's the problem with feeding these two dotlings but yeah as you can see here right it's most definitely possible just that the trash can keeps obstructing um that little placement but it's actually possible to bypass the trash can and uh fit the two over here so not gonna exactly try for that but that's an option just know that like just fitting one is super simple and that's the general spot for two spots sorry secondary spots rather just have more dotlings here there you go for farm spots you have a whole lot of them down here you can actually fit four if you place them right like let me do this real quick one second you have one two three and four and then you have one i think two and okay sorry you have one and two like so and three awesome they're rather precise to fit but yeah uh you have first boomer spot right down over here uh, of course left-handed my bad and then second boomer spot right here is amazing this is the multi-purpose spot and also the best agrimus spot and then this is uh the second agrimus spot and uh yeah obviously your farmer uh well usually it goes down here but since we fit the three farms we cannot although it's very precise to just fit to don't like overthink it too much uh as for cobras they're all amazing here 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 you just pretty much go all the way across aside from the boomerang spot right and that's about it uh for uh this map as well as the entire video so uh, i hope you guys so uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, if you did please consider subscribing leaving a like uh, on this video um in the comment and uh, also let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it uh what was good what was bad those are just very like small steps for you um to uh, to really help me out and ensure that my channel grows uh so if you want to do all three of these it would be so so appreciated but yeah that's about it thanks for putting through with all this video and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one have a good one everybody bye bye